here to fill us in on all of it is the host of HuffPost Live, Josh Zeps. Do you want me to tap dance? This so oh, much yeah. Yeah. Impressive, Josh oh, Zeps. Wow. Wow. It's the free market's number one fan, capitalism's greatest cheerleader, <laughs> Michael Moore. Ron Howard is here. Liz Hurley. John Cusack. The Reverend Jesse Jacksons. Can you live with an Iranian nuke? I hope they wouldn't have it. Bill Nye, the science guy. George Takei. David Arquette. Say I'm not a world oh, champion now! Uh, Say I'm not uh, a world uh, champion uh, now! Uh, Sarah Bareilles. Mark Cuban. Phil Donahue. Barack Obama has broken my heart. Brother Norcus. Paul Krugman. I know something about economics. I think you know something about economics. I, I won runner-up in the home finance uh, okay. class in middle school. You won the <laughs> Nobel Prize in economics. Same so thing. both of us have won some kind of award in economics. <laughs> Fran Drescher. Cheryl Crow. Uh, Alison Janney. Go back to camera yes. three and, and all do wave. a big wave. Oh, good. Martina never had a loaf. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Academy Award winner. Susan Sarandon. Uh, your country. naive belief in democracy yeah. is so quaint. Where are you? This isn't Madagascar. This is New York City. Rita Moreno. Dick Cabot. Eric McCormack. David Hasselhoff. Howard Fun. <laughs> what an introduction. This is HuffPost Live. I'm Josh Zips. We are joined now, incredibly, by three astronauts who are currently on board the International Space Station. Koichi, uh, I've interviewed a lot of people in my time and I've passed microphones back and forth. I've never passed one quite like that. He's one of the biggest British comics in the world. Russell Brand is here. I don't think it's something that could be changed in a bipartisan system, do you, mate? No. I suspect that in a thousand years' time, mm -hmm. if we're still all around, we'll look back on this system of government where you just get to choose between A or B, and that's all you get to choose, as being a sort of primitive early stage of Western democracy. Yeah, right, as like dictatorship by another name. Kind of. As long as we prioritise this material truth over spiritual truths, we will live in tyranny because we are living in an illusion. How the hell do you engage with Hollywood? It's not going well, Josh! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she just wants a drink of water. The last one was, yeah, yeah. Actually, you can do that to this laptop. This piece of shit's been bothering me for a while. Josh is dying! Give Josh a new laptop! <laughs> I don't think there's anything sexist about love, about sex, about Nor do I. sharing you're a good moment you with are. another person. I think you're a good intimate. interviewer. I think you're like a David Frost figure. I oh, think you'll you. be okay. Well, that's a great honour. This is a big year for gay rights. In my country, they were talking about it and they were going, What's next? A son will be able to marry its dad? I'm like, <laughs> Hold on. Actually, you know still... who said that? It was Jeremy Irons sitting right where you are and he was saying it to me. Jeremy Irons said it to you? Yeah, yeah, that's where that whole could a father not marry his son thing came about. Could a father not marry his son? Uh, well, there are laws against incest. It's not incest between men. But men don't breed, therefore they... So incest wouldn't cover that. Now, if that was so, then if I wanted to pass on my estate without death duties, I could marry my son and pass on my estate to him. No, that sounds like a total red herring. I'm sure that, I'm sure that incest law would still cover same-sex marriages. Really? Why? Because yeah. Uh, I don't think that incest law is only justified on the basis of, uh, of the consequences of, for procreation. I think, it's it also, I think there's also a moral approbation that's associated with incest. Anyone who was offended obviously did not watch the interview to the end. I mean, living with another animal, whether it be a husband or a dog, um, is great. See? He's cool with whatever. Bobby. Hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm wonderful. Good to hear. A little under the weather from a cold. Oh, no. But I'll be fine. You look great. Thank you very you much. See, you sound wonderful. We did it. There we go. We did it. <coughs> what, what is that? Uh, what is that? I don't feel too good now. Well, it doesn't happen that quickly. Yeah, I think I got happens. it that it quickly. Happen. We're staking out the 7-Eleven to find there? the sweet tooth ghost. If you are news just from the getting your news from the Daily Show, mm. you are a very misinformed person. Well, you understand a lot about this country. I don't give this to monkeys. It's Howie Mandel! We did not win anything in Iraq. We are not going to win anything in Afghanistan. But I wonder if Iraq has made us so allergic to going in that we're actually overly cautious and we can't unpick and separate the different categories of... of I mean, aren't we, isn't Syria a different case from Iraq? Who is a best friend? Who gets in that? For example, am I a best friend? Not so much. Right, okay. Any other questions? Ask about acquaintance. Would I be in a... Well, I'm definitely an acquaintance because we've met. Yeah. You don't want to get too heavy into politics here, but this one's a mistake. Of course we do. We're having a post. You we know, do everything. You in a way that you beautifully. This is the funniest interview I've ever done. <laughs> An infinite amount of thinking going on here. No, you do a hell of a good job of this, by the way. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm not trying to flatter you, but if the interviewer is a good and smart, it's great. And tonight's great. Stay tuned. Plenty more conversations coming up right here on the Evil Malicious Up Post Live.